Hi, this is Wyatt from Scotland. You are watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube, along with the real star of the show, The Diesel. Mind to subscribe. Good morning, everybody. Today is the exciting day we've been waiting for. Today's the day we go into Winnipeg for the IUI procedure. This is a procedure I've talked about in the past uh, that helps us with infertility. Because we're having trying, we're trying to have a baby. And uh, we've been having some difficulty over the past few years. And today is the day when they take my guys and they drop them off at the finish line. So we're, we're hoping it's all going to go well. Uh, my wife here, Britt, has been in at the fertility clinic. This whole day is mostly about her. A little bit, a little, I have a, I have a small part to play. But so she was in with the doctor uh, about a week on ago Friday. on Friday, a couple days ago. Uh, just to see if she was ready, and the doctor said she should be ready by now, but uh, he gave her some of these ovulation tests to take. And they're saying that it's not time yet, but the doctor said it definitely should be time already to do this procedure. So we're going into the city today to see what's going on, and hopefully hopefully today's the day when we can get this done. If not, they can... Uh, what's it called again? They can... Trigger me. Trigger her. Not but in a good sense, though. Not in the, the sense you're thinking. Not in the sensitive millennial. Yeah. Snowflake kind of way. They can trigger her to surge is what it's called. And then pretty much we'd go back in tomorrow, I'm guessing, and do the procedure then. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to say today. Never got that smiley face on the stick, so... So we're not too sure what to expect. It, it, she, it should have been ready yesterday. It all should have been good to go, but... Uh... These things are interesting. I'm learning a lot about the fertility process as we go through this and try to have a baby ourselves. So it's sort of unpredictable. Everybody's a little bit different. Every woman's body's a little bit different. And, and know, everybody who's gone through fertility stuff knows that your whole life is a waiting game. So mm -hmm. we've been waiting for about two and a half years now. Everyone's always like, next month, next month. We get tired of waiting for next month to come. <laughs> So let's go into the city and see what the good doctor has to say. I don't under understand why 445 exists. Yeah, we had to get up early for this. Early. That is the biggest understatement I've ever heard. You excited to go and find out what they have to say though? Well, yeah, of course. Excited, but nervous. I would be too. We're here. One sec, let me lock. Oh, oh Britt's already by the door. Oh, she's in a hurry. She's in a hurry too. Today might be the day. We'll see. Might have to come back tomorrow. Well, the sun is back up there, burning in the sky. It still exists. Still exists. It hasn't a good blown thing. up yet. No, it's a good thing. So, uh, we have some good news, and we're going to be talking about fertility and the fertility process here in the next couple of clips. So, if that makes you uncomfortable or you don't want to hear about that, now is a good chance to skip ahead or just tune in tomorrow. But uh, here's our story. So, we have some good news. Um, you want to tell them? It's, it's... There's still eggs in there. They yeah. just haven't released yet. They're taking their sweet time because they're stubborn like me. They belong to me. So uh, that's the good news. <laughs> the bad news is that now, provided they gave me a blood test and provided that I'm not surging right now, I get to give myself an injection tonight. And that sort of forces the surge. Yay. So, uh... <sighs> She went in for an ultrasound, uh, what was it, Friday? Yep. A few days ago. And they said, yeah, you're pretty much just about to surge, which means you're just about to ovulate. And uh, that means when that happens, like we have these little ovulation tests at home and it gives you a little smiley face if you're ovulating. Well, if she is, I don't, I, I, it's never given me a smiley face. No. No. Something. I never tried one though. Well, I have extras at home. So you wouldn't, can try them out. Wouldn't that be weird if I got a smiley face and you didn't? Then you can have the baby. <laughs> the amount of stuff 
ladies have to go through in the whole pregnancy process birth you guys are amazing <laughs> you guys are amazing so uh anyway so we're, we're waiting for her to ovulate and uh, it was supposed to happen by now and we were getting worried because day after day after day we weren't getting a little smiley face and uh, we had an appointment today for the insemination which means they take my sample and they would you say artificially inseminate you is that what so that was called artificial yeah i guess so yeah because mm -hmm. it's not the natural way they take my guys <laughs> and my sample and they drop them off right at the fallopian tubes pretty much like right at the finish line so that they don't have to take the stairs and that they don't really have to work that hard because my guys are apparently a little bit lazy they are my guys and then again i'm not lazy i used to be when i was younger though i've gotten out of that they haven't caught up with everything your else. swimmers still think that they're teenagers yeah they're still te <laughs> <laughs> so anyway so we've been having problems with that so this is the process we're taking to bypass the whole stairs take the elevator and have a baby, our first baby. And uh, so we're waiting for her blood tests to come back right now. If they say that she's already surging, already ovulating naturally, we don't need to take this artificial trigger thing. What, yeah. HCG, that's what it's called, right? HCG is the... Uh, HCG patient kit? Yeah, HCG, HCG is the uh, hormone... Uh, that releases when you're pregnant. Okay, okay. So if she's not naturally ovulating right now, they're going to induce it, force it, make it happen tonight. Yeah. My so body that, is crazy fertile, yeah. but it's just taking its sweet time and Josh is a trucker, so we gotta speed this along. Yeah, and they're being so helpful here. And it's been yeah. really great. Yeah. But, uh, so there's two eggs ready to release. One, for those of you who know what this means, I wouldn't have known what this meant before, so if it goes over your head, don't feel bad. It would have gone over my head too. One is at 25 mil millimeters. A big one. It's a big one, because uh, 20 is mature, I think, right? Yeah. Around 20? 18 to 20. 20 millimeters, the follicle, the egg, it's that big. 20, 25 millimeters, right? And she has a second one that's 16 Not millimeters. millimeters. I don't think they're that big. No? Just 25 is the 25 measurement. 25 is the measurement. I don't know what, I don't really know what I'm talking about either. I'm not a doctor. So there's two ready to go. So very high chance that we might have twins with this whole process. Plus it runs on both sides of our family, so. Yeah, and we're ready for twins. Totally cool with that. As long as they're healthy and we Just don't care if they're boys or girls. Don't want four, five, or six. That would yeah. be a bit much. But there's only two releasing this time, right? So. Yeah, with eggs be. can split. Oh, sneaky. <laughs> right. Whoa. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll see what happens. So what we gotta do now is we gotta hang around the city for the rest of the day. It's 9 a.m. right now, and they said they'll have our blood, her blood work back before four o'clock. Yeah. And they'll let us know. If she isn't naturally surging and ovulating, we have to buy a, a $200 injection. injection. The medication that'll go into this syringe. On top of the $625 for the procedure, on top of the $650 to the registration. registration. So if you guys are wondering how much this all costs, here you go. On top of all the hormones that I take every single month, on top of your swim-up test, that was 300 bucks. The hormones are quite cheap because we have insurance, so they were only about 13 bucks a month. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it, it adds up quick. It's very expensive to do this. And yep. we're only doing IUI. In vitro yep. is much more pricey. So we've dropped a few thousand dollars uh, for this. And uh, yeah, if we got to go to the next step, which is IVF, where they actually extract the eggs out of the woman, out of the ovaries, and then take my guys, and they they put them together. Put in them a together. Dish. Yeah, in a yeah, in a little science. It's stuff. science. It's science, and they fertilize the egg outside the body, and then once the egg is fertilized, they put it back in to her body, and that's the last resort. But that's several thousand dollars as well. So. Let's hope uh, that this works. This should work, but because uh, I'm so fertile, there's we shouldn't have to do that. But you never know. Yeah. We never thought we'd have to do this either. No. So that's where we're at. That's what we're waiting for now. Waiting for the blood tests. And either way, whether or not we have to take the extra the booster shot, I guess you call it. Yeah. The booster shot. Whether or not the we go -go have to take, juice. Whether or not she has to take that tonight or not. Uh, we're coming in tomorrow for the insemination. So tomorrow's the big day. And then we'll be crossing our fingers, hoping and praying. When you guys watch this, we won't know if she's pregnant yet. So if you guys want to send your thoughts and prayers our way and 
And even if I was, we probably wouldn't tell you guys at the early stages. We've made that mistake once before. <laughs> True. But we do appreciate any prayers you can send our way because we want to have a healthy pregnancy, a healthy child. We don't care if it's a boy or a girl. We nope. just want it to be healthy. Yep. And uh, this is our big day. Tomorrow's the big day. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully it works. Hopefully. If not, we try next month and the month after that. But as I yep. said, I'm tired of hearing the phrase next month. Because yeah. next month never seems to come when you're in fertility mm -hmm. stages. So. so yeah, I don't think we've gone over the costs before of that. So just those of you who, there, apparently infertility is pretty common, much more common than we thought. Much more. So if you're wondering, in Canada, you might think that, oh, I thought everything was free. No, it's just basic Medicare is free. This obviously isn't covered because why would they cover that? That's not necessity. It's not, uh, it's not like life or death. Yeah. But. Oh, it's life. It's life. <laughs> That's very true. Very true. Maybe we should petition to have it covered. No. No. Then they'll just go overboard with everything. <laughs> but that's where we're at. So, uh, yeah. Let's go uh, say hi to your dad, maybe? Yeah, sure. You want to say hi to him? Heck yeah. I always want to say hi to him. Cool. He's just down the road at his work. He works at Chevy. Let's go look at some trucks. Okay. Yeah. The very next day, the big day. There we go. And I didn't need to end up taking that injection. <laughs> <laughs> I was very happy about that. Mm -hmm. But we have it on hand in case we need it for the next time. So she surged naturally yesterday evening and we got a smiley face on the little ovulation test. And today's the big day, so we go in today. I bring them a, a sample, 8 a.m. this morning. Uh, they do their their thing with it clean it up a little bit i guess just take what they need and then at 10 o'clock we go in for the actual insemination and then after that it's a waiting game waiting to get a positive test result on a pregnancy test yep i think that's what's going on right mm -hmm. nice boots thanks very nice one payment genuine genuine leather uh yeah actually Genuine chemic. <laughs> Chevy, you're in charge, buddy. You're in, in charge. charge. You fierce lion, you. You hobbling hobbler hobbit. Whoa. Can you handle it? It's a lot of responsibility. It's all up to you, man. <laughs> Starts crying. <laughs> we'll be back soon. Just be a couple hours, bud. Just leaving. You doing okay? Yeah, just cramping. I'm okay though. I'll live. Just get back to the vehicle here. So it's all done. Now we wait. Find out the results later this month. So we were here early this morning and dropped off my sample or gave them my sample and sort of cruised around tuxedo sort of a wealthier area of winnipeg and looked at the big houses for a couple of hours and then came back and you went and got the procedure done i was there in the room and it looked uncomfortable and it was <laughs> but it wasn't extremely painful it was just uncomfortable just some pain how are you feeling though let me feel the chances are is it a boy or a girl girl it's a girl it's a girl <laughs> So we're supposed to find out by the 23rd of this month, uh, and then we'll wait for it to, uh, we'll wait to get through the first trimester, I guess, before we would tell anybody. Tell anybody so don't expect an announcement anytime soon if we are. Yeah, it'll be a few months before you hear from us yet on it. If it doesn't work though, you'll hear. And yeah. then we'll go in for another procedure. Yeah. Now we play the waiting game. <laughs> 